Hello everyone, welcome to Canteen Cup. My name is Scott and today I want to talk about SIGs versus Glocks. Am I poking the bear? Yeah, I am a little bit, but I wanted to talk about them. You know, just because there's so much controversy out there about SIGs versus Glocks. Now, I want to say, you know, right up front, I own a SIG and I own a Glock. I have a, a Glock 19, I have a SIG P228. And so I, I shoot both of them. And, you know, people will say that, you know, the SIG is more accurate than a Glock. The Glock is more accurate than the SIG. Um, you know, it just kind of feels better in my hand or this or that. And, and so over the past two weeks, I went to my local range a couple times. With, went with my wife. We like to go shooting every now and again. And one time I went, I shot my SIG. And then a week later I went and I shot my Glock. And then while I was there, I decided to rent a gun and I rented a Beretta 92 FS. Now I've never shot a 92 FS, just to give you an idea. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post some of the targets I have. And, and let me put the caveats in first. Uh, one is my wife and I, we both you know, shoot at the same time. We use the same lane and we kind of shoot at the same target. It you know, saves a little time, saves a little money. So what we do is she, she will shoot at the heart part of the target and I'll shoot at the head. And so when I post these targets, I'm just really posting the head because that's what I shot. And so I will first post the Glock target and it'll be right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna post the SIG target and I'll post it right here. And then I'm gonna post the Beretta target and I'll post it here. Okay, now I'm gonna edit those in, so if it looks a little wonky, that's my fault, but uh, how did I shoot? Really what I did is I took a box of bullets, a box of 50 bullets, and I shot at the head. It was informal shooting. It was offhand, unsupported standing. I use what's called, or what used to be called the modified weaver stance. It's how I was taught, how I was trained. I was not necessarily shooting for accuracy. Um, I was not necessarily shooting for speed. Like I said, it was just informal shooting, but I think the targets are very telling in that I really shot all for, you know, if you look at them and the reality of it is, is I really shot them all about the same. Now, you know, the Glock is striker fire. The, the SIG P228 is a double action, single action. And the Beretta is a double action, single action. And it's, that's a full size gun. So it's a little bigger than the other two. I, you know, I may have shot the Beretta a little bit better. You know, there are a couple flyers out there. Like I said, it's informal shooting, but you see where the big holes are. And that's where the majority of the shots went. And again, each one of those targets has 50 rounds in them. And you are seeing the results of all 50 rounds. And so when someone tells me, oh, well, I can't shoot a Glock. Oh, I can't shoot a SIG. You know, I, I personally don't see it. Not, not looking at those targets. And, 
a Glock is not my favorite gun to shoot. Um, I, like I said, I shoot it well enough. It's an accurate gun. It's a reliable gun. It's a durable gun. Um, but is it, you know, if I'm going to the range for other than training, if I'm just going for fun, you know, do I want to bring that gun? No, I'd rather bring one of my other ones, but it's a good gun and it's cheap. Um, you know, the SIG, um, they're expensive. I mean, they're, they're, you know, right around twice as much as a Glock. And I like them. That one I got in a trade. I don't think I can afford to buy one outright. And it's a good shooting gun. I like it a lot. But do I have to have a SIG to be as accurate as I shoot a Glock? No. And then the 92, I, I've never shot a 92 before. When I was in the service handguns for the Army was a 38 Smith & Wesson Model 15 and a Colt 1911A1. So I never shot a 92, but it's a good shooting gun. I really like it. And they're, they're priced right in between the, the Glock and the SIG. Um, am I going to buy a, a Beretta? No. I really did like shooting it, though. It did cross my mind. <laughs> so it is a good shooting gun. It's a little big. And that's really, really what I want to talk about. You know, I'm, I'm poking the bear a little bit. And really what I'm saying is all the guns are accurate. You should be able to shoot them all about the same. And I mean that. Uh, I went, like I said, I went from a striker fire to a double action, single action, to a different double action, single action, different grip angles, different grips, different sight, you know, radiuses. Uh, shot the same bullets. They were a uh, Blazer 115 grain full metal jacket bullets. So I, get, I buy those at the range. And they all shoot well. So I'm. So when you go buy a gun, you know, don't necessarily go with what other people say. And, you know, training trumps gear. If I can do it, you can do it. You just have to get out and train and practice. Now, I may, I may add another, another pistol to this test down the road a little bit. I've got my eye on one, and I'll let you know when I, when I get it and shoot it. But uh, anyhow, poking the bear. You know, if you have a SIG, fine. If you have a Glock, fine. But don't be envious of one another because as far as I'm concerned, they all shoot about the same. And, and it's what you do as the operator that counts. Either any of those guns will shoot well. They'll shoot as well as you shoot. And so if you're not shooting a gun well, it's probably not the gun is what I'm trying to say. So anyhow, that's all I got for this Sunday. I wanted to stop in and you know, do a short video on that because it's been on my mind lately because I, I did go through a period where I wanted, you know, different guns and, you know, you know, SIGs and all this. And, you know, I was kind of, you know, getting into that, into that trend. And um, really, it's not that much of a difference. It's just, uh, you know, if you just got to have single action, double action, that's that's fine. But uh, in reality, I shoot them all about the same. And so am I going to buy Am I going to buy another SIG? Probably not. It's kind of fun to shoot, but um, I do just as well with a Glock. And I guess if I really wanted a double action, single action, or single action, double action, however you want to call it, I get the Beretta. I was really impressed by that gun. So, um, but anyhow... That's it for today. Uh, also, wanted to show you. Uh, I, I, I'm a, I was at the gym yesterday. As you can see, um, I was driving in fence posts. This is uh, I'm finishing up my dog run for the boys. I drove a bunch of a bunch of these in, and I don't have. I don't have one of those power drivers. I did it by hand with one of those 16 pound pipe hammers that you hammer in and, and did that for all these posts. And um, 
I think yesterday I did about 10 or 12 of them, so I, I got a pretty good workout. It's like I tell people, if you, if you really feel the need to work out, just homestead. You'll get plenty. You'll get plenty of work just, just working around here a little bit. All right, everybody, stay safe and stay secure.